Luggage, a big luggage on his on her head. She was walking like this, and she could feel tired. And then one of the drivers had pity on this old woman and stopped the car and said, Hi lady, can I give you a ride? And the lady said, Absolutely, yes. Then the lady entered into the car, but she did not put off, put down her luggage. She continued seated in the car with a big luggage on her head. And when the driver saw this, said, hey, I gave you a ride so that you might become light. Why are you still carrying your luggage? The lady said, it is mine forever. And then the driver told the lady to come out of the car. She continued her way. Come to me, all who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. <clears throat> it's the invitation that our Lord Jesus Christ offers to each and every one of us today. This invitation is extended to us all in the various walks and situations of life. What are you carrying today? What are you carrying in your heart? There are a lot of things which we are carrying, which we need to let go. If you want to be Christians, true Christians, there are things which we have to let go because Jesus is ready to take what is bothering us. Jesus Christ does not specify what nation, what age of people, or even race, color. Jesus invites all the people to him. He says, all who labor and are overburdened. The invitation of Jesus in the gospel today is extended to all of us who are heavy burdened. Who of us can really say that he or she is not burdened due to one reason or another? Who? Each one of us is overburdened in one way or another. Jesus Christ has shared our human life in all things except sin. He has walked the walk of life with us. He knows everything. Jesus Christ is aware of the challenges and the trials that we go through as human beings. He is not indifferent, and this is why he looks at each and every one of us with com compassion. That's why he says, come to me. Think of things outside there which really overburden us. Look at the things where we attach ourselves and we don't let it go. You, we cling on those things. It can be bitterness. It can be unforgiveness. It can be money. It can be other things. And Jesus today is telling us, let it go and you become free. We offer our burdens to him who has invited us to come to him. 
Jesus Christ has invited all of us. And the question is, who will come? The invitation is to everyone. But some people stubbornly, they say, I'm not going. But I will pretend as if I'm there. Jesus Christ desires to offer us rest. Who of us can claim not to have need of rest? Everyone needs rest. And we cannot get rest from this world apart from only Jesus. Who of us has no burden, no struggles, no trials to present to Jesus? During this Eucharistic celebration, let us offer to Jesus what is in our hearts. We offer our burdens to him who has invited us to come to him. Let us every day say, Jesus, this is too much for me. If it is your will, take it away. We know what is going on in our lives. We know what is going on in our country, in the entire world. And it is only Jesus, the master of peace, who can give us rest. Thank you.